Here come the lights. We've got four, five red lights in Spa, and the Belgian Grand Prix is go with a great reaction time for Leclerc, who's got the lead, and Perez had to chop across Lewis Hamilton. That's a lock-up for Carlos Sainz. He's very close to being tipped into a spin there. There is minor contact there with Oscar Piastri, who's damaged the front wing. It is Charles Leclerc who has the lead. It is Sergio Perez, who's got a mammoth run, and dropping back through the field is Piastri with damage to the front of the car. Look, they're all being slowed as they go through a rouge. Not what you want to see as you make your way through there and now we've got a battle for the lead the Red Bull pulling out of the slipstream Sergio Perez going to the lead of the race fine margins between them as he gets past nothing Charles Leclerc could do and Verstappen does the same move on Carlos Sainz just behind so Max Verstappen up to fourth position it's a little bit brave I think from Piastri coming in on the inside here with Sainz he's just pinched between the Mercedes and the McLaren Sainz locks up and Piastri doesn't want to be sticking a nose in here. I don't know what he was doing. I was there and just turned in like I didn't exist. Not there enough, I don't think. Sticking a nose in on the inside is you're always liable for that sort of uh, position. And, and Carlos didn't have another opportunity not to do that, really. He had Hamilton on his outside. He's going to have a good chance to pass Carlos Sainz. There they are, top of shot now. DRS open. And Fernando Alonso pulls out of the slipstream, goes to the inside. That is slam dunk. That is fifth place. Big move Whoa. for Stroll on Norris. Stroll laid on the brakes. He sent that from downtown. That was miles back. So Norris is really dropping as well in uh, in this part. He was seventh behind Alonso earlier on. He's going to get done by Russell now. Russell will get to the apex first. Lando Norris, second in the last two Grand Prix, has found himself on the back foot all weekend long. Norris goes up to 10th. But Alex Albon in a straight line, it is, it is preposterous, that Williams. It's 12 miles an hour or 20 kilometers per hour faster than anything else. And now further back, Aston Martin versus Mercedes, Stroll versus Russell. We've got loads of moves here. Yuki Tsunoda's going around the outside of Carlos Sainz and Stroll's going to hang on to the place, but he goes deep. Will Russell be able to come back? He's soaring away, but there's no way through. And the Aston Martin is still ninth. And he's got the move to the inside at the final chicane. The limping Ferrari has no way to defend. Sainz is going to tumble down the entire field here. He's staying with it, but uh, that is going to be a really, really tough afternoon for him at this point. Lando Norris pits them from 11th place, and here goes Verstappen to the inside of Lewis Hamilton, who tried to close the door, but that Red Bull is rapid in the hands of the driver, chasing eight Grand Prix wins in a row today, and that move will go a long way to securing it. And Hamilton, in theory, could have defended the inside there, but there's just no point. He'll fall further away from Leclerc. In the next corner, he'll be a sitting duck for the Red Bull again. So let's see then, he's going to open the DRS shortly. The Ferrari is pretty good in a straight line, but the Red Bull surely is going to be coming at him with the DRS open. Gaining with every metre, but will he be sent the long way round? Is there a chance of defence? Will we go wheel to wheel? Charles Leclerc can offer no defence. It's a Red Bull 1-2, Max Verstappen. He's now gone from sixth on the grid to second in the race. We want to see if Albon can get past Yuki Tsunoda because we're looking further back out of the points, but in the points, I can tell you, it's three tenths of a second between Albon in 11th and Tsunoda, and here's the move, here's the chance, and there's the pass, and that could be for P6 in the Grand Prix later on as Ocon making his way by. He's in 12th, and there's the move for Daniel Ricciardo getting past his old teammate at turn five. Hulkenberg's going to have a run at Alonso. These two had a bit of a fight yesterday, and Hulkenberg is not in the same race, really, as Alonso. Hasn't pitted yet. It'd be much slower now, but it's going to frustrate Fernando. Around the outside goes Yuki Tsunoda for one of his best moments of the entire season. Albon's got a rocket ship on his hands, but Tsunoda had the drive, had the DRS, and he retakes the position that he lost through the pit stop sequence. The man who started in sixth position last year, he won here from 14th on the grid. Sixth today, looking to take the lead on lap 17. We ride through Radion corner. We're getting closer to the back of his teammate with every meter that we run. Now we're going to get DRS and there will be nothing that Perez can do. Max Verstappen takes the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix. Easy as you like. First place in the race on lap 17 for the driver who started in sixth. Russell's finally going to clear Lance Stroll as he Stroll defends the inside Russell to the outside Stroll doesn't want to give it up oh that was close as the Mercedes sweeps by and Russell does clear the Aston Martin and this rain will last for around 10 minutes
Umbrellas are up on the Kemmel straight. That's a long way from Stavolo. This is the longest lap of the year. Here's a chance for the overtake. Stroll in seventh, Gasly in eighth, no longer. The driver who was third yesterday moves up to seventh in the Grand Prix, but still yet to come in and make his stop. We're on board with Max Verstappen. The rain is coming down. Are we about to see a big moment as he goes through? And that's how easy it is for your Grand Prix to end. Norris versus uh, Sargent. The McLaren straight line speed is absolutely appalling compared to the Williams. He's going to have to get it. He's going to have Around to get it. Around the outside. It. Can he find his way by? Sargent tries to close the door, but Norris to the inside of nine. And even though it's raining out there, he will comfortably make his way through. <laughs> it's, it's been coming down for a while now. They're waiting for it to stop. And George Russell comes in. Is they, are they going to go for Inters or are they going to go for a new set of slicks? It's going to be slicks. It's going to be the soft tyre. So they're all just trying to make their way through the rain. Everyone is on the same page at the moment. It's Yuki Tsunoda up against his old teammate. These two got along famously when they were part of the Alfa Tauri setup. But it is Pierre Gasly being passed by the Japanese driver who is having a superb run and is up to sixth. Fastest lap for Max Verstappen. He just ticks the last box remaining, having taken the fastest time in qualifying. Is there a chance for a wheel down there? That would be brave if Gasly tries it. Albon, fair, gives him the room. They're still side by side, and Gasly will surely take the place if he can get on the power earlier. And he does so. Tidy move, Pierre Gasly. Ocon had a good run. Whoa, he's feeling really brave. What a move that is from Esteban Ocon. That is absolutely outstanding. He just pressed fast forward. That is extremely clever car placement for the Frenchman. Esteban Ocon with his best overtake of the year so far. This is a review of Esteban Ocon taking the place away from his good friend Lance Stroll. They get on very well outside of the racetrack. The Dutch driver will see the chequered flag first once again, and he celebrates across the line. Max Verstappen wins the Belgian Grand Prix, eight Grand Prix victories in a row, only the second time in the entire history of Formula One that that's happened. It will be a one-two for Red Bull Racing. Sergio Perez coming home for podium finish number 33 in Formula One. Charles Leclerc comes over the line to confirm that third place finish. Hamilton is about to complete the 19th and final corner to see whether he can take that fresh medium tyre all the way to the end and steal the bonus point for fastest lap. And the answer across the line is that Hamilton manages to do so. No one has an answer to Red Bull. The RB19 is well on its way to being the greatest Formula One car ever designed and Max Verstappen behind the wheel. Well, you can start him anywhere you like and he is fighting his way to the front.